Hello everyone, welcome back to the Samaritan Paradox. Alright, well, I've got a walkthrough preloaded in my web browser in the background, so I can pull it up at any second, which should tell you all you need to know about any hope I have for the puzzles actually being any better than they've already been. <sighs> but, but, I'm gonna soldier on regardless. Let's start fresh. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, or whatever. Let's just go forwards. Forget everything happened. Forget I ever visited that island. In the story. Let's go to sleep. Maybe it's time to sleep. There's a little more I can do here now. Good idea, Ord. Why did you walk that way, Ord? That was kind of weird, Ord. Day three. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna turn the audio, the music down even more. When I was mixing the previous episodes, I found that the voices were surprisingly not very high compared to the music. Okay, new day, what am I gonna be doing? What did I get from that? I got, right, the tourist brochure and the business card. Jorgen Anderson, journalist, and his telephone number. Give him what he wants to continue the hunt. Don't give up my dear daughter. Various bunkers and other military remnants on the island. Oh, right. One of the bunkers has been encircled. Okay. My daughter, you must enter the dragon's lair. This is the, this is one way. The sky is too bright to see any stars. True. But you know what else you can do with it, Ord? You can look right at the sun. You should do that, Ord. I think you would enjoy it. Let's see if anybody's delivered some mail. Some post. It's empty. Of course it is. I need to use the ferry to get there. Right, there's the bunker. There's the cabin. What's that? Fardo Port. Oh, right, the place that was closed, but is now going to be open, of course. Hmm, bunker first, or here? Let's go here first. Let's check around the shops and whatnot. Oh, it's closed. Okay. What about the store? Here we go. Some information. Information notes and things for sale. The usual assortment of groceries. I have everything I need at home. Posters advertising boat trips and diving courses. This guy has it all. The owner of the shop, a sturdy fellow, is solving a crossword. Oh, <laughs> you're solving a puzzle within a puzzle game. Irony. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So, how's business? So, uh, how's business? Business? Good, I guess. Are you new to this village? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and I see everyone here. Yeah, I'm just a visitor. I, I can't Interested take Interested in it. hiring a boat? Maybe, Maybe go, diving. go diving. I have a diving center at the other side of the island. Diving now? It's freezing. I know. That's why I have to run this shop during the winter. I see. Oh my god, it gets so cold here! This guy is amazing. Tell me about my rent money. Hey man, you got some money, man? I need stuff, man. Okay, fair enough. What about my thesis? I'm literally just going to ask about everything. Ah, uh, Bergwall, the island's only celebrity. 
Unless you count certain minor players in the field of tourism and boat rentals, of course. My diving courses are rather famous. A variable renaissance man. He dabbled in science, astronomy, art, and above all, writing. He would always stop to chat for a bit. Uh, granted, of course, he wanted to discuss topics that interested him, uh, which was mainly corrupt politicians and, you know, things like that. I didn't pay attention to anything he just said. I was just look I was just listening to his voice actor. Whoever did that voice did a, such a strange and amazing job. It, it's not that they're bad, right? They sound like they're actually playing a character. They're not just, you know, dryly reading off a script, which you often hear. You know, but they're playing a character. They're actually acting the character well, but the problem is just that the voice that they're doing just sounds ridiculous. I think I kind of love it. Anyway, what what did you actually say? Ah, uh, Bergwald. Mm. A variable. You would always stop to chat for a bit. Uh, granted, of course, he wanted to. Alright, yeah, he was very interested in corruption. Oh, I can't talk about the constellations with this man. But they're so pretty. There are plenty of bunkers and military remnants scattered across the islands. They were sealed with concrete long ago, though. <laughs> Alright, this game has temporarily redeemed itself. My pleasure, mate. Okay, can't go in the ticket office. I can go in the ferry. I don't want to go back up the road. Let's go to the bunker. Damn, it's it's bunky. I'm pretty sure it will tell the story of that bunker. This bunker is one of many in a network of military strategic sites constructed during the war. Blah, blah, blah. They were all emptied and sealed with concrete after World War II, but the bunkers remained landmarks on the islands. Although never used in combat, they were fully operational for several decades, used for storage, bomb shelters, and even anti-aircraft batteries. Okay, as well as doing a stupid voice, I probably should actually understand this. Alright, sealed with concrete after World War II, storage, bomb shelters, and even anti-aircraft batteries. Okay. Etc. Etc. If these bunkers were so great, I wonder why Sweden never used them for, say, fighting the Nazis or something useful. Okay, nothing around here. I can just go back. Oh, wait a minute. No, there's something else here. Downhill. The entrance appears blocked by a large chunk of cement or something. Yeah, well, yeah, it's been filled in. You're not gonna get inside. Yep, rock solid. I wonder why Jonathan hadn't left any clues for opening this thing. Hasn't left any clues. It's okay, I can see from a distance how solid it is. Oh, I can actually use a scroll wheel for this. Cool. The roof of the bunker is covered in snow. Hmm. Can I go on top? There's an old sundial imprinted on the cement slab under the snow. Ugh. V and X. Roman numerals. I t By the way, I have no idea how a sundial works. None. I, I know it uses the sun to tell time. But beyond that, or how it even works, I don't know. It's just numbers imprinted on the cement. There's little I can do with it. Someone has equipped the bunker roof with a sundial. It's missing its pointer, though. Alright, so obviously I can't do anything with it until I actually have the pointer, right? 
Looks like there's something missing here. Perhaps this will work. I can't put that in the hole. Well, I can think of something else you can put in the dark hole. The pointer, of course. What were you thinking? A mini fan. I'm just kidding, I obviously don't have it yet. I should go downhill. Nothing I'm missing. Sundial, sundial. No. Just click it on everything a million times. It's an adventure game. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Downhill. That's a large fishing... A large fishing ship. Yes, it's a fishing ship. Oh my! Wyvern Exports. A fishing company, it seems. I wonder if the Dragon's Lair could be this place. A wyvern is a kind of dragon, if I'm not mistaken. You are quite correct. I remember wyverns from The Witcher 1. Yes, I think you found them a lot in the swamps. If I remember correctly. Fishing company located on Fardo could be what Jonathan referred to as the Dragon's Den. Wait a minute, the Dragon's... What Jonathan refers to as the Dragon's Den. Hold on. I thought it was the Dragon's Lair. Yeah, what the... Come on, consistency! You must enter the dragon's lair. And this says... Den. They might be synonyms, but they are different words. I'm just kidding, I don't give a shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Suddenly small, now he's huge. Now he's small, now he's huge, now he's small, now he's huge. <laughs> I think I've lost my mind playing this game. High security entrance, complete with surveillance cameras and a monitor. Welcome to Wyvern Exports, how can I help you? Oh, hmm. I'd like to visit your company, please. Do you have an appointment? I guess not. I... Can I make an appointment? With whom, exactly? Eh, this is no use. I'm not meant to enter Wyvern Exports this way. Sorry, I changed my mind. Bye. Oh, come on, I just need to put on, like, a monocle and, like, Excuse me, I have interest in investing in your company. Okay, let's hunt for pixels. Gate, 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 gate wall, gate wall. Welcome to wall. Oh, Do you have it up? I... With These walls look a bit excessive for a fishing company. They do, actually. Why would a fishing company have, like, high-security walls? Well, actually, it's not really high security, to be honest. If it was high security, it would have barbed wire at the top, but still. Why would a fishing company have walls at all? If someone has bothered to put up a wall that big, they probably made sure you can't simply climb over it. I'm sure they have security measures preventing that. Uh... Like magical, invisible barbed wire? What? 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 Okay. Maybe it's electrified cement. Not meant to enter that way. That implies there is a way to enter. Okay. He won't climb over the wall. He says the gate is not the way to enter. So that leaves... Um, well, maybe not the gate is not the way to enter, but simply getting an appointment is not the way to enter. Okay, what about this? Give him what he wants to continue the hunt. Perhaps I should give him a call. Let's go do that. And I've got another order of business to attend to. Poor old Herbert. Need some water. There you go. 
Who's a good boy? Call everybody. Every time he uses the phone, he gets in the way so I can't click on it again. Speak. I was given this number. Given by whom? Jonathan Bergwall. Oh, that thing. And who are you? That thing? I was expecting his daughter. I'm Ord. I'm his son-in-law? That makes no difference to me. We should talk. Uh, okay. Can we meet downtown? I'm a bit immobilized at the moment. You need to come to my place. It's Cooper Street, 11C. Cooper Street, 11C. I got that. Immobilized at the moment. What does he mean by that? Magnus here. Hey, it's me. Ord, my friend. The plot is thickening. The plot is thickening. Okay, tell like me Like a roux. It. I can't explain it all now. But it's quite tense. I found some parts of Bergwall's secret story. There seems to be some big thing going on. I think this is just part of a bigger picture. What thing? What, what are you talking about? Uh, by the way, are you getting along with that girl, Sarah? Uh, sure. Johanna's been asking about you. Asking how you are? She has? I told her that you've been much more... alive lately. Jesus, you sound like you're two doctors discussing a patient. I'm fine. I've gotten over her. I don't need to know that she suddenly gives a damn. Oh, I think she's always given a damn. So, you think you'll be able to finish that PhD thesis now? Yes, Magnus. I think I will. I'm just gonna go solve this case first. <laughs> Alright, mate. Still up for lunch on Friday, by the way? Yeah, sure. Just... don't bring Joanna. Spoiler. Lunch is never gonna happen. Okay, easy there, friend. And sorry for not shaking hands, but I'm the cautious type. I'm Jorgen, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ord, now please... Tell me what the heck I'm doing here. Sure, let's keep this brief and simple. Too much information can be a liability. Jonathan Bergwall and I had a history of helping each other. We both wrote investigative journalism for Sub Rosa. I'm a journalist, just like Jonathan. Our paths happened to cross. I was investigating the church on Fardo, and he was doing something on Wyvern Exports. Then I stopped hearing from him. Then he passed away. Before that, he gave me something. I was instructed to hold on to it until his daughter called this number. Then his daughter was supposed to do something for me, and I was to give the item to her. But now you're here instead. Now, I don't really need to know what business you have with Wyvern, just like Jonathan never really needed to know what I was up to exactly. We switched alibis, you could say. I'm known in the church on Fardo, and can't be seen there again. You help me with the church, I help you get into that bunker. This sounds pretty fishy. Just like Wyvorn exports. Wyvorn. Wyvern. Whatever, close enough. Uh, okay, just tell me what you need. Okay, just tell me what you need. Good. You're like me. Efficient. The church on Fardo is developing into some sort of cult. I suspect the priest has established some sort of payment scheme. People pay money for absolution. Just like the old letters of indulgence. It's back to the Middle Ages. I want to expose those economic shenanigans, but as I said, I can't access the church myself. The priest keeps books of who's paying him. Get some photos of that book, so I know who's involved. You expected me to break and enter the church? Easy on the drama, big boy. I don't think it has to be so hard. You can just pretend to be an initiate yourself, seeking absolution. That will get you into his office. And how exactly do I do that? Do I hand over some cash and wink knowingly? No, the members who were initiated have a secret phrase for when they want to make a payment. Sadly, I don't know the phrase. I only know it exists. The phrase is the signal that you're willing to start paying money for absolution and other special services. Titles and shit. Okay, so I need to find that phrase first then. Fine, I'll be back with some photographs of the records. Here's a camera. Good luck. Great. 
I've become some sort of a secret agent, all because of vague promises. Alright, well, I'm glad he gave me a camera, because I was about to ask, take a picture with what? It is 1984, after all, so I can't exactly use, like, a tiny little spy camera mounted on my glasses. Not to mention I don't even have glasses. It's a camera... Jorgen? I thought it was... I kind of just assumed it was Jorgen, but apparently it's Jorgen. Lent me. It's small and practical. Okay, I can use this pint glass to smash the cult leader over the head while I take a picture. I am apparently not meant to examine anything in the apartment, unfortunately. Okay. Where's the church? Wait. Where where's the church? It's not even in my book here. Did I miss something? Hold on. I think I should go back and talk to him. Hey, George. Yep. What is it you- The church on Fordo was developing into- I suspect the pre people pay- mm -hmm. I want to find where- Who do you work for? I freelance, but I mostly write for Sub Rosa. And you? What do you do for a living? Hmm. I suppose the less he knows the better, sure, but eh, whatever. If I get assassinated by shadowy agents, I'll be assassinated by shadowy agents. It's fine. I've accepted that. I'm a cryptologist, among other things. How interesting. So you crack codes and such? Yes. Any particular kinds of code? The kinds I find. I tend to find them often. Do you know if Jonathan was writing on something before he died? Something like what, exactly? Uh, like a secret novel of some sort? No, he never spoke to me about a secret novel. Actually, all I know about Jonathan's daughter is that she was supposed to come to me, and I was to give her the task of infiltrating the church, but you turned up instead. Didn't that strike you as odd? Yes, but Jonathan was odd, so it also struck me as making sense. If he wanted to design an ordeal for his daughter to pass in order to get some sort of reward, it seemed like a pretty standard Borgwall scheme. Fair enough. My friend and co-worker for many years. He carried out some damn fine journalism, even though his moral crusading probably got the better of him. How's that? He killed himself, right? Yeah, I see what you mean. I know Jonathan was investigating them for some reason. I trust those reasons were good. I have my hunches, but it doesn't behoove me to be involved in that affair. Okay, well, Wyvern exports, obviously, they deal with boats, right? I think? Yeah, there's a ship right there. So perhaps they were involved in the weapon trade. Because I know uh, weapons is obviously part of the plot. As we saw at the very beginning, something about... What did it say? The TV in the very beginning says something about weapons and exporting. Was it Sweden or something? Something about exporting weapons, yeah. And then something else. I think it was the magazine that made me think about the weapons trade. So, I'm guessing they were involved in trading weapons, and that's probably why he was investigating them. No worries. Okay, he said it's on Fardo, the church. Where? I mean... Am I, am I blind? Where's the church? This is the store. Oh wait, what the fuck? This is it? 
What? I don't even see the door. The little thing jammed off on the bottom right side of the screen is the freaking church? What in the hell? Why would you do that? Okay. Fardo Church Hall. Open. Some sort of community hall connected to the church. In we go. The community room is coldly lit and not very cozy. Seize the day. Profound. <laughs> Indeed. Another saint doing that saintly finger gesture. I don't need to do anything with the saint. Some rather nice antique books fill this glass cabinet. Religious folios, calfskin halfbounds, and some rare old Bibles. Alright, businessman, a bell, a waitress. And there's even another side to the room. Amazing. Alright, so that goes to the actual church proper. Ooh. Ah, private entrance. That looks like it might be where the books are held. Two people are depicted there, along with some accompanying text. This appears to be where the church... Thanks its sponsors. Presented here for the generous support to the church. One picture of this one picture is of Stieg Dahlback, owner of Wyvern Wyvern Expert. Blah, I can't even talk. Let me try that again. Owner of Wyvern Exports. Oh, that's the nervous looking guy in the suit over there. Oh. Well, I should go have a chat with him. Big modern Bible. Huh. I won't steal it, but I guess I could use it for reference, should the need arise. The busy light is lit. The lights cannot be changed from the outside. That's a desirable quality of such lamps. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling pretty hungry. Let's go grab something to eat. Excuse me, service. No need to ring the bell, she's right there. Oh, but I wanted to be an asshole. Hi there. Hello. What's going on here? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? She's a waitress waiting for you to order something? So, what's going on in here? Not much. Still half an hour to service. After that, some people will probably want some coffee. New to the island, are you? Yes, I'm just visiting a relative, you could say. Is this where people socialize here on Fardo? Well, not only here. You will often run into people you know at the supermarket. Wait, you mean... You meet people in all sorts of places? Tell me more about this concept. Who's the man in the suit? That's Stig. He's one of the regulars. He comes almost once a week. He looks rather posh. He owns Wyvern, a very successful fishing company on the island. Wyvern, interesting. He enjoys flaunting his wealth, I can tell you that. So, he's a regular churchgoer? Nah, he just comes here to talk to the priest before. He rarely stays for the ceremony. By the way, when he paid for his coffee, he forgot this book on the counter. Would you do me a favor and give it back to him? He must have been pretty stressed. Uh, sure. Wait, so she gives me the book rather than says, Hey dude, ten feet away, here's your book back. That makes no sense, but okay. You know, one of these days, one of these peoples are going to say something useful about my rent. Somebody's going to have something to say about my rent money. Yes, he owned a cabin here. Some say his best masterpieces were written on this island. I read some of the detective stories. Rather exciting. But to be honest, whenever it got too political, I couldn't be bothered. You could talk with the shop owner. He knows a bit about everyone here. Ah, those bunkers. 
It's a good thing they closed them completely. Some people are fascinated by those old military remnants, but I just find them eerie. They are kind of creepy, frankly. They're a fishing company located on the island. Used to be a really small family enterprise, but has grown a lot over the years. That Stig is one heck of an entrepreneur. You're welcome, honey. I didn't even say anything, but but yes, thank you. Okay, take a look at that book. Latin book. Hmm. <laughs> How funny. A Latin book. I'm sure I won't have to use that to decode the passphrase that I need. No. This bookmark looks like a fax or something. Hmm. I'm taking out of this bookmark. I'm take I'm taking it. Wait, what did I say? I'm taking out this bookmark. I think I just misread it. My brain hurts. It's a fax letter. Stieg used it as a bookmark. Let's take a closer look. My son, I'm happy you're appreciating our services. If you find other suitable candidates, you know what we say. Know your job. 42 6, 1984, Center Fardo Mission Covenant Church. Huh. Okay. You know what we say. Know your job. Isn't job like... I don't know. I'm not religious at all. And I've never read the Bible. Ever. But isn't job some sort of a religious thing? Is 42 slash 6 like a place in the Bible? Chapter 42 divided by 6 or something? <laughs> However that works. Anyway. Let's go use the big modern bibli. Hmm. Maybe know your job refers to the book of Job. That's what it's called, the book of Job. And that would explain the weird date. It's the chapter and verse. Let's see, Job 42.6. I despise myself and repeat in dust in ashes. A useful phrase, perhaps. Is it in my notes? It's not. Oh, apparently I can't do it again. I think I've already found out the secret phrase. Okay. I guess that's it. Why he would have that is as his bookmark is very strange, because he's been going here for a long time, apparently, so... Surely he's known the passphrase for a very long time. Whatever. Alright, let's go to the church proper. Good, it's not locked. It's the Bible quote of the day. What does it say? You worship what you don't know, we worship what we do know. Uh... What does that mean? Who's the we and who's the you? As far as I can tell, that quote basically says, We're awesome, you suck, go fuck yourself. Strange. Some sort of control panel. It says lights and bells on the panel door, and it's locked. A pile of flimsy pages with songs on them wait to be put into binders. It's pages with songs neatly arranged, numbered, and hold. Probably waiting to be put into binders. I should be careful, the pile seems unstable, and I don't want to spend an hour sorting all the pages. The candle is doing its best to spread some warm light in the room. Okay. Oh. Why did I do that? The candle holder is made of perforated aluminum. I have no idea why I just blew that out. Two cords are joined here. I shouldn't mess with the electrical stuff for no reason. Fair enough. Someone's left a note on the desk. 
buying new binders will be back in time for service, Marcus. The bookshelf has a door. <laughs> Excellent observation. That's okay, I can leave it open. Alright. Sacristy. I don't know what that means. It says sacristy on the door. A bit unusual, the sacristy is usually at the front of the church. Hello! My dear son, this is a private room. Hmm. Okay, I suppose I shouldn't open up with, uh, I want to give you money. Try to convince him that I'm, I feel terrible about my sins. I have sinned, father. Of course, we all have. We are sinful creatures. Can I repent my sins? Naturally. Just read the Bible, pray, and ask for God's forgiveness. Oh, okay, that's simple. Cool. I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. I see. I didn't know you were initiated. Well, I will book an introductory meeting for you. And you are aware of the... <clears throat> tribute... Necessary for full absolution? Uh, sure. Let's see then. In what name should I book you? Ingmar. Good. Next Sunday at seven. Will that be fine? I'll book you then. Uh, wonderful. Should I take a picture of something now? What did I just do? What the? I don't know if I accidentally left or... Uh, whatever. Okay, uh, I need to distract him. So there's the book. There's his place. Need to distract him. Judging by the electrical thing, I'm guessing I need to mess with that to distract him by making some sort of music. Or something. Or an electrical fire, perhaps. My dear. When did you book me again? Oh, that's gonna be my excuse to keep coming in. When did you book me again? Two minutes later. When did you book me again? Two minutes later. When did you book me again? <laughs> so you're the priest around here. So you're the priest around here? <laughs> Why, yes, but I'm busy preparing for the ceremony now. Can we talk later? Yes, I suppose we can. I'm sorry, I'll show myself out. Oh, sorry. I'll show myself out. Thank you. You're welcome. If I show myself out, by the way, would I actually... I need to prepare for the ceremony now. Please come back later. What it actually meant is I'm just gonna kind of creep around your room, but okay, apparently it forces me out. Okay, hold on. I see something light and shiny on the table. Perhaps I can yoink it as My I go out. Dear... Oh, thank you. A priest will probably object. Okay, fair enough. Hi. All right. <laughs> yeah, I need him to leave before I can do anything in there. Where am I going? What is? It? What the hell? I just clicked on the note, and my character went all the way to the right of the screen, and then to the left to actually read it. Okay. That is some interesting pathfinding. Less pathfinding and more path losing. Okay, now can I mess with it? It's locked, right? Right, 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 right. Um, how do I pick a lock? I could probably open the panel with that, but there'd be signs of burglary. Wait, I guess that's what the key's for. But the key's in there, so I can't use that to distract him, because I need to distract him before I can get the key. Huh. Okay, well, Marcus is apparently getting binders. Perhaps I should go check the store? Perhaps I should talk with you. There's something unnerving about him. Maybe I shouldn't disturb him. Okay, never mind. 
Okay, what if I just take a picture of him? He wouldn't find that alarming, right? Damn it, I can't. Marcus? Okay, well, I guess you don't buy binders at the convenience store. Hello there. <laughs> Hold on, I want to hear that again. I should please come again. Hello there. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. My pleasure, mate. Okay. Do I have anything distracting? Oh my god. I think I just figured it out. You know, I should curse myself. Hold on, well, let me make sure- Let me make sure it actually is a solution before I start saying anything. Let me just make sure. I'm I'm really really sure, but let me just make absolutely sure. Oh my god, it's going to fucking work, isn't it? <sighs> the mini cooler fits in the candle holder. I wonder if I've suffered irreparable brain damage by the fact that adventure games have actually conditioned me to think this way. I just used the mini cooler fan that I found literally days ago on what is literally a different landmass, because it's on a, you know, this is an island, probably hours away or something. The fan that I picked up days ago, and have stuffed in my pocket for days, for no reason, is now used to distract a priest by blowing papers all over the ground. <sighs> Hello, how are you doing? Plugging that cord now would cause all the pages to blow away, and the janitor would probably be blamed for it. Or myself, should I be seen? Oh, you're telling me it gets even more convoluted than this. What a surprise. Get out of the way of the thing I need to click, you jackass. And is this really... Oh, now I can plug it in, and then I... P so the whole point of that was just so I can move a couple feet over here? And what, I'm gonna hide behind the door? I will do that, but at a better time. Perhaps I need to wait for the ceremony to start. Anyway, I can force that to happen. I mean, I can't activate that remotely, can I? Such a convoluted pile of garbage. I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do yet. Like, do I need to get the key now, but I need to distract him first? How do I distract him first? But it seems like I need to do this to distract him. But I can't do this until I've distracted him to get the key, it seems like. Am I supposed to go hunt down Marcus? 
I went to the convenience store and it wasn't there. You're not going to go all the way to the right again, are you? No, good. Buy new binders will be back in time for service. Okay. Am I supposed to, like, hide behind the door? I think I'm supposed to hide behind this door at some point, but not yet. Okay, what the hell do I do in the meantime? My dear. When did you? Mm. It was in next sun. Huh? 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 Okay. Sweet. I need to prepare. Yep, the key fits. Activating the bells now would probably make the priest start searching for the key and perhaps suspect me of theft. Wait, so I need to put it back? My I just like to point out that this is the thing that a lot of adventure games do. They have conversations like this where they force you to repeat the exact same dialogue again and again and do things that are incredibly unnatural and no human being would ever do or say, such as coming into a room, saying the exact greeting five times in a row, and asking somebody, when did you book me again? Ten times? And the response never changes. It's... Uh, it just reveals how... how much of a game it is when you force people to go through the same dialogue again and again like it just becomes ridiculous it turns people from actual characters into just objects that spout text that you need to click on the right thing for to win the video games like it becomes not even a character you just think of them as a as a mechanic when did it was in next I just left before he <laughs> just left before he even talked to me. He literally was <laughs> Can you imagine how awkward that would be? Could you please check my appointment time? <laughs> and then you leave, and then they turn around, it's like, oh yes, it was at seven And then there's nobody in the room. Let's ring the bells. This will probably lure the priest out of his chamber. Marcus, it's not time for the bells yet. Marcus? Alright, now I need to go hide. Perfect. Priest will soon be back. I could really use more time to. I could really use more time to investigate this room. Okay, hold on. Um, I should probably save it right now, just in case I get caught. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm calling the police right away. Damn. This will make it impossible for me to operate here in the church any further. Oh, it just put me back to like an autosave. Oh, I see what to do. You! Have you meddled with the bells? No! I would never do such a thing! I see what to do. Goodness gracious! What have I done now? I should have plenty of time now that the priest is busy putting those pages back in order.
I would just like to point out what just happened. So. So. I should have infinite time. I'm gonna save it again. Because I can. Let's examine what just happened. Let's see if I can remember everything that just happened. This is a prime, perfect example of the ridiculous puzzles that are in so many adventure games. And what better way to highlight how ridiculous it is than looking at everything I just did and what it was meant to accomplish and all the steps necessary. So, days ago, literally days ago, I picked up a mini electric fan and stuffed it in my pocket and I've had it with me for days. Picked it up for no reason whatsoever, I just had it because. Days later, as I'm trying to hunt down the secret book from Jonathan Bergwall, I'm on this quest because his daughter doesn't want to do it herself because he's tired of Jonathan. She's tired of Jonathan's freaking games and wants me to do it instead. And as one of the hints from Jonathan, I had to go talk to this guy. I don't even remember his name, the reporter dude. And before he will help me, before this guy will help me, to help Sarah get the secret novel, I need to go infiltrate the church before, you know, do him a favor. So I go to the church, I learn the secret phrase by taking a bookmark out of a book from the guy who owns the Wyvern fishing industry place, Wyvern Exports, which magically has the secret, uh, not magically, but very conveniently has the secret passphrase needed to become, you know, tell the priest that I'm an initiate of this cult so that he knows I want to give him money so that he'll open his book and make an appointment for me so that I guess I know where his book is. I'm not entirely sure what the point of that is. I could have just looked around in his place to find the book, but whatever. So that's why I'm here. Talk to the priest, figure that out, give him the passphrase. He makes an appointment for me. While he's checking his time, and I have to keep talking to him again and again, asking him the exact same question, and he always tells me the exact same thing, give me a couple seconds to move around in his room. While he's doing that, I stole the key. And previous to this, I also blew out the candle in the holder, unplugged the first part of the extension cord, put the fan inside of the candle holder aluminum frame thing that I'd picked up days ago, literally, and had been holding around for no reason. Then I used the key that I got from the priest's place to open up the panel, then I rang the bells, then I hang, uh, hid behind the door while the priest came out to stop the bells from ringing. Then I plugged in the other end of the extension cord to make the fan blow, to make the papers spread all across the room, to get inside of his place, where I'm at now, to take a picture of his book so that I can bring it back to the reporter guy and he can give me the next part of the puzzle so I can solve the main mystery. Adventure Games. If I'm not mistaken, that's a fax machine. He's up to date. I've got to give him that. That must be the list. Uh -huh. Alright, just take a picture of it. Let's document these lists. That should do it. Resting is the last thing I should do here. Oh, come on. Rest in his chair. Perhaps, like, be playing with a pocket knife when he comes inside. He won't take it threateningly. Looking all suave. On the outside, I say this is a rather large closet. Oh, right. Confession booth. There's nothing special with the priest's robe. I probably won't have to dis disguise myself if I handle this intelligently. Fair enough. What's the point of the confession booth? Knock, knock. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess you're already seated. Ready, Pastor? 
I'll do my best to impersonate the pastor. Why is this happening? Wait, so I, I just went into the confession booth because I thought somebody might come in? That's what that light means, is come in to confess? What? what? Is that how churches work? Lights tell people when they can come in? Okay, well I should be able to do a pretty good job impersonating him. Yes. Got a technical glitch with the bells, Pastor. <laughs> For whom the bell tolls and all that. All right. It's the usual story, really. I try to keep what you say in mind, but it's really hard, actually. I'm not going to say I'm losing hope, but... Well, it's difficult. Uh, we have a shipment now, and I can't help but ponder, you know? Am I responsible for how that stuff is being used? He keeps reassuring me that whatever those dictatorships do with the goods is their responsibility. And, I mean, if we didn't want people to use weapons, why the hell is our government and Fosorb so damn happy about producing them in the first place? I apologize for the swearing, Pastor. It's not like those pieces can be used for deer hunting or <laughs> whatever they have down there. Do they hunt camels? And if I didn't do it, they'd find someone else. That's how it works. <laughs> I have to say, Pastor, I'm really thankful for your support. And your sermons on sin and morality and all that, really inspiring. Sometimes, when I think of what my father would have said, you know, he, he built that fishing company from scratch. If he would have known how it would end up, I really need to hear your comforting words. Anyhow, I won't steal any more of your precious time, Pastor. I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Your sins are forgiven. Sorry? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so I'll take my leave then. Yeah, okay. See you next week, Pastor. He hasn't suspected anything. This was... sweaty. <laughs> I love how when he first greeted him, when Ord first greeted him, he didn't even try to do the priest voice. He sounded completely different, and yet the guy didn't care. Okay, I'm going. Excuse me. Damn it. I'm never gonna get to do that. Why is the bell even there if you can't use it? Is this like a show- oh, hi. Is this like a show them the gun in the first act? Don't use it until the third act or whatever? Except the bell equivalent? They're introducing the bell subtly. It's there. But it won't be used until later. Oh, crap. Damn it, I meant to press the save thing. No. No. I don't care. Go away. I misspelled save. But I don't care. Hello, activist. That's a very strange name. An activist is handing out some sort of flyers. All right, I'll take one. No, what? What are you doing? Save the sea otters, please. Have a brochure. Thank you. A flyer urging people to take action to save the sea otter. Curious. There's a handwritten text on the backside. Keep walking. Call this number. Three signals. Hang up. Then meet me at the Iron Square. Range. Okay. By the way, there isn't a phone in the cabin, is there? I don't believe there is. Typewriter. 
Is that three? Yeah, three signals. Okay. 